Welcome back everybody. Let's talk about double angle formulas. There's a lot to memorize here and I sort of expect that you're going to have to watch this video more than one time. And by the way, I want you to stop the recording and do the checkpoints as they come up. So let's get started. Double angle formulas. This is just another way to find exact values of, of angles. So our double angle formula, double angle formulas is going to be sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta, cosine 2 theta, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, and tangent 2 theta is 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Notice we have 2 theta each time, 2 meaning double. So that's the first group that you need to memorize. We're going to go back and get some more cosine of two thetas here in a little while. Okay, I want to caution you about something. This is, these are identities. These do not work the same way as um, your normal um, algebraic equations. Sine of two theta is not equal to two sine theta. And cosine two theta is not equal to two cosine theta. And tangent two theta is not equal to two tangent theta. So don't fall into that um, ugly viper pit. Okay, so let's take a look at um, how can we prove, a real quick proof. We don't do this very often, but this is important now. The sine of two theta, I'm going to prove that that is two sine theta cosine theta. All right, so I'm going to change this to sine of theta plus theta because theta plus theta is 2 theta. And then I'm going to go back and take a look at my um, uh, sum of sines, sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta, which of course you've already memorized. But now theta is, or alpha is, is theta and beta is theta. So this would be sine alpha, or sine theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta, which is two of the same things, so that's two sine theta cosine theta. Okay, very simple proofs. So what I want you to do on your own is prove cosine two theta and tangent two theta. Prove that they're equal on their double angle formulas. Not equal to each other, but equal to what it, it says up here in the box. Okay, we want to find the exact value. And we're given some hints there here. If sine of theta is 5 over 13 and theta is in quadrant 2. Find sine of theta, cos or sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, and tangent of 2 theta. First thing we need to do is de decide what values do we need. We're going to need the sine of um, theta, the cosine of theta, and the tangent of theta in order to plug into our equations. So let's start by looking in quadrant 2. And if the sine is 5 over 13, then that means the opposite side is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13, which would make the adjacent side negative 12. So that's going to give us sine of theta is 5 over 13, cosine of theta is negative 12 over 13, and tangent of theta is negative 5 over 12. All right, so now we want to find sine of 2 theta. And, and, and that is going to be equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta by our uh, previous identities. So all I'm going to do is plug in my values. 2 times sine of theta is 5 over 13. Cosine of theta is negative 12 over 13. So that's going to give us negative 120 over 169. And we can't reduce that in any way, so we just have to leave it. Cosine of 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So if we take our cosine squared theta, negative 12 over 13 squared minus 5 over 13 squared gives us 144 over 169 minus 25 over 169. Remember, negative 12 over 13 squared is positive 144 over 169, which gives us 119 over 169. Okay, so for our tangent, that's going to be 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. And we have decided that uh, tangent theta is negative 5 over 12. So 2 times negative 5 over 12 over 1 minus uh, minus 5 over 12 squared gives us minus 5 over 6 minus 1 over minus, start over, minus 5 over 6 over 1 minus 25 over 144. Now I'm running out of room, so I'm not going to write down all the steps. In the denominator, if you look at the denominator, that's going to be 144 minus 25 over 144. 
And then if I flip that upside down, I will have 144 over 119. Remember, keep, uh, keep change flip. <laughs> I just forget how to do that. So it's minus 5, 6 times 144 over 19. If you don't get that, write out those extra steps. And that's minus 120 over 119. Okay. Go do your checkpoint number one. Okay. Find the exact value. 2 tangent 15 degrees over 1 minus tangent squared 15 degrees. We have no idea what the tangent of 15 degrees is. But we can think of it this way. The tangent of 2 theta is 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. That is the identity. And notice that here, I can kind of make a little mark there, that is theta and then this is 2 theta. Okay, and so what I can do is I have to I have to kind of think this direction. Theta is equal to 15 degrees. If theta is equal to 15 degrees, then tangent of 2 theta would be equal to 30 degrees. Because remember that this equation here is equal to tangent of 2 theta. So you have to kind of think backwards from this. So and the tangent of 30 degrees is negative square root of 3 over 3. So now go do your checkpoint number 2 because it's similar. Okay, welcome back. We do have three forms of double angle formulas for cosine of 2 theta. Whoa, more stuff to memorize, but it is useful. The cosine of 2 theta can be cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. It can also be 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. It can also be cosine theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. And those are not terribly hard to prove. Maybe we'll work on that too. Might give you that for a little uh, bonus problem on a test. Hint, hint, hint. Okay, let's keep going. Verify cosine 3 theta equals 4 cosine squared theta uh, minus 3 cosine theta. Or cosine cubed theta. I can't read it. Um, so Cosine 3 theta is what I'm going to work with. And cosine 3 theta, I'm going to break this down into cosine of 2 theta plus theta, because 2 theta plus theta is 3 theta. All right, so over here, we're going to expand this with the sum of cosines. Cosine 2 theta, cosine theta, minus sine 2 theta, sine theta. And now we want to break this and this down, cosine 2 theta and sine 2 theta down further. So we're going to make cosine 2 theta to cosine squared theta minus 1. Go back and look at your identities. And then we have to also keep the cosine theta in there. Minus 2 sine theta cosine theta. If you, if you look to see what sine of 2 theta is, it's, it's 2 sine theta cosine theta. And then we have a sine theta in there. Okay? This we're going to um, distribute. So I'll have 2 cosine cubed theta minus cosine theta. And over here, I'm actually going to just multiply everything together. So it would be 2 sine squared theta cosine theta. Now, what, what are we looking for? We're looking for this in the blue. And we have 2 sine squared theta is minus 2 times 1 minus cosine squared theta. We want to put everything in terms of cosine. See that? So we're changing everything to cosine. And of course, then we have to carry this along to cosine cubed theta minus cosine theta. And now when I distribute my minus 2, minus 2 times cosine theta, I have cosine cubed, 2 cosine cubed theta minus cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta plus 2 cosine cubed theta, which is 4 cosine cubed theta minus 3 cosine theta, which is exactly what we're looking for. That's a tough one. You might have to write that down and go over that a couple of times in order to make sure that you understand the algebra that's involved in that. Okay, so now go do your checkpoint number three. And you're done. Thanks a lot, folks. See ya.